Americans. This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman. We're broadcasting from Warsaw, Poland, where the climate is cold and the protests are hot. We are at the UN Climate Change Summit, known as COP19. As we go to broadcast, hundreds of activists are walking out of the talks. Groups backing the walkout include Greenpeace, Oxfam, 350.org, the International Trade Union Confederation, ActionAid International, WWF International, and Friends of the Earth. The move comes less than 36 hours after a group of 133 developing nations walked out of a key negotiating meeting amidst a conflict over how countries who've historically emitted the most greenhouse gases should be held financially responsible for some of the damage caused by extreme weather. We turn right now to Kumi Naidu, who just moments ago, surrounded by hundreds of people, addressed the protests. He's head of Greenpeace International. This action is a clear statement that this particular COP is, com is a complete betrayal to the sense of urgency that is needed. In fact, today as we are here, there are activists around the world who are paying a price for standing up uh, uh, to take action on climate action. Whether it is the Arctic Petty that are in prison in Russia, or whether it's indigenous peoples in different parts of Latin America, they are the ones who actually are saying, our livelihoods are trapped, we need to act, and our political leaders have the temerity to tolerate the fact that we are called hooligans, when in fact the real hooligans are the CEOs and the big bosses of oil, coal and gas companies that have completely captured our governments and have completely captured this negotiating process. It is an insult to us that in fact this COP is largely sponsored by the coal industry. It's been given a opportunity to proclaim that there is such a thing as clean coal and so on. And given all of this, this action is about sending a clear statement that our leaders here need to wake up, they need to pull up their socks, they need to actually act with the urgency that both science and extreme weather events are actually saying that we need to. As my comrades here have already said, we are not disrespecting the United Nations or the United Nations Framework uh, Convention on Climate Change. It is the individual positions that powerful governments bring here that is holding the process. That is why our commitment here is not simply saying we're walking out. We are saying we are walking out and we are committing ourselves to mobilize the largest number of people in every single country in the world to say to every parent, your child and your grandchildren's future is at stake. You need to stand up now and take action so that when we get to uh, the next COP in Lima, Peru next year, we have hopefully a better fighting chance to lay the foundations for a fair, ambitious and legally binding treaty when we get to Paris, something by the way that we were supposed to have achieved in Copenhagen. So our message to our political leaders, understand that nature does not negotiate, you cannot change the science and we have to change political will and it is within their capacity to do that and they cannot drag the feet any longer and they need to start doing that now. That's Kumi Naidu of Greenpeace International. We'll have more on the walkout later in this broadcast as it's taking place as we broadcast. But